Hello and welcome to Console Cowboys. So before diving into exploiting vulnerabilities and hunting for bugs in smart contracts, we first need to understand what the structure of a smart contract looks like. We need to understand what the code looks like and the nuances of the language. If we do not understand what a contract looks like and how it is coded and how it handles transactions, how could we hope to find vulnerabilities and business logic flaws within smart contract code? For this reason, we will cover some basic and intermediate solidity development in these first three videos. For this video, we will cover the usage of Remix, which is a browser-based development environment we will use in many of our labs. Open up your browser and let's take a look at the Remix environment. So once your browser opens up, go to remix.ethereum.org. This will have your development environment for solidity. You want to click Solidity, and you'll be presented with a Solidity compiler window. But more importantly here on this left-hand side are different tabs for different portions of the development process. So if you hover over them, it'll tell you what those are. The first one is going to be your file explorer. In the file explorer, you can import files. You can actually create new development files. So the Solidity language ends with a .sol. So right here, untitled sol, we'll add that in there. And now this is our file that we can actually type all of our code into. And once we type our code, once we deploy things on the blockchain or create transactions, down here in this window is where you'll see all the logs of the transactions and also the ability to debug the transactions if something went wrong. The next tab, once you've written up your code, you'll hop down to the compiler. So here you'll see we're using compiler version 0.6.6. These versions change rapidly. As of today, it's 0.7.0. There's some small syntactical changes. We'll take a look at those as we get into coding, but it shouldn't be anything too crazy. We also have our language version. We're using Solidity. And right here, we can compile our code. If we actually had code to compile and there was errors, it would show that down here. Right here is just showing some kind of warning because we don't have our Pragma Solidity line written in here. Once we compile our contract, we can head down to this third tab where we can deploy our contract using the environment up here. The default is the JavaScript VM. The JavaScript VM allows us to deploy our contracts and run our transactions directly in the browser without any need for an external blockchain. So it's really convenient for our developing. We also have other options such as Injected Web 3, which is a plugin for your browser. And the plugin can interact with the Ethereum mainnet or any of the Ethereum test nets. We also have a Web3 provider. This is if we're using a local blockchain. We're gonna do that later with Ganache, or also you can use Geth for a local node. And then we can have a local blockchain running outside of our browser, which allows us to do some other things that the browser will limit us from. Next up, we have our accounts. So we get a whole bunch of accounts here pre-filled with Ether for all of our testing. And every time we reload the browser, it's refilled with ether, so we can do a lot of testing here without having to use real actual Ethereum. Then we have our gas limit. Our gas limit is like our toll when we're you know, driving down the street and we hit a toll booth. In order to get where we need to go to deploy our transactions, we actually have to send some transaction fees with that. Those transaction fees are used to pay miners and run the blockchain. Then we have our value. So if we were creating a smart contract and deploying it and we needed an initial value, we can send that with this value. Or if we're depositing money, say with a deposit function, we would add that value here. Next to it is the denomination. This is kind of like your $1 bill, $5 bill, $10 bill, $100 bill, except in Ethereum, you have Ether, Finny, Gwe, and Way, and there's actually a ton of other ones. To give you an idea of the difference, one way compared to one ether is actually one with 18 zeros after it. And after we make all of those selections and everything set up the way we want, a deployment button will show up down at the bottom. We can hit deploy and then we can interact with our contract. So that's about it for Remix. I really just wanted to make this video so everybody was on the same page. They understood the interface and how to interact with it. That way, going forward, everybody can be successful and not get confused by the tool and actually pay attention to the concepts. In the next video, we'll now use this knowledge in order to compile a Hello World application and learn about Solidity. So I'll see you in the next video.